cold in the morning. Okay, that's my mom's salsa. Oh, nice. So try it out. It's good. Oh, man. Fresh cilantro. Mm. Homegrown. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, from her own garden or what? How is it? Sorry, I double tipped. Awesome, oh, huh? Is this the homemade sauce? I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. How about it, Monica? It's gonna warm me up. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh. Spicy, spicy. Mm. All so that I'll cilantro? Right oh, oh, that's a a quart. Good. Spicy, just mm. right, man. That's perfect. I even double dip. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought it last long. Here we go, Adam. Hope we're gonna have a drawing. Good stuff, huh? That guy approved. That's what we grew up on. Yeah. Awesome. We got one here. We got the tent over there. We got a hammock over there. A tent, a tent, a tarp tent, a hammock, a hammock, a hammock, a teepee. <laughs> but look at this. All right, Monica. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. <laughs> All right, Monica. <laughs> Look at this. This is all the stuff we carried up. Look at this. <laughs> I got all that Steeter Brothers. Uh, hot links. Uh, hamburger patties. I bought two, two bought bags of them. Did we bring both bags up? We did, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, there they are. Hot dogs somewhere. Oh, there they are. Coke, Pepsi, Coors Light, Inca Cola, Arizona, and uh, eatery. Cookies. You guys zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. Taking that bag down to zero. I'm sleeping three feet from where the, the meat's being grilled and the bear bag's above my skin. I don't think these guys like me. Charlie's over here putting beef jerky chunks down there. He put an open cat food over there, open cat food over there, and jerky chunks in my tent. That wasn't me. I put the cheese. I put cheese in. It's the bacon in your pocket. Here's that hammock I was given to, to test out. Holds 650 pounds. That's nice. Look at that background. It is comfy. But it doesn't feel like I'm going to fall down or nothing. It comes through. It looks like a boot hammock. When I use uh, these are Eno slap straps with it. It comes with okay. these. But it's cold, and I, I couldn't tie any knots in this cold with this wind, so I just used the slap straps. No, this is a new one. This is the like the one I, I gave out in the contest. But when you're all done with it, it's like the Enos, it just goes right in the pocket, zips up. So this hammock, this hammock is sold by Swift Outdoors. There'll be a link below in the details. And uh, it's got real nice stitching on it. There's how big it is. I don't think you can fit two people in here, even though it's 650 uh, pound limit, but it's plenty to go up around you. It's plenty to go up around you. Try it out. See what you think. There's Bill, he's got his hammock over here. What kind is your hammock? Oh, down here. Blackbird. He's got a blackbird. Pretty comfortable, huh? Plenty of room. Plenty of room in there, huh? Very nice. Goes up around you. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice hammock. Sold by Swift Outdoors. 
for a really reasonable price. There'll be a link in the details below. How are they? Great. <laughs> How is it, Jason? Chili. Get the grilled onions on here. <laughs> Amazing. I got midget legs. When I sit down on the when I sit down the same height as my buddy that's 6'4, yeah. when I stand up on the yeah. We had a bunch of leftovers. Oh so they're going to guys from the PCT. Where are you guys from? New Hampshire. Germany. Germany? Mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Brothers? Brothers? In Seattle? <laughs> Germany. Germany. Where at in Germany? Just yeah. a burger. By chance? Um, West Germany, uh, Dearborn. Same hey, yeah, ex-girlfriend. He lives in Germany now, in D-Store. Huh? <laughs> oh. <Doppelganger>. So good. <laughs> How's that for trail magic? Huh? Hey, look at how small this world is. He's come here from the PCT from where? Columbia, Missouri. And then you recognize me from YouTube channel, and why? Uh, cause Scott <laughs> Hayden, and he follows you, and... I know you got both got the same packs. You followed his uh, little YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's funny, man. Guide about that or whatever review. That's so. funny. It's funny how it's like a small network on yeah. YouTube and everybody, everybody just yeah. knows everybody. Uh huh. So there are eight PC tiers. They're down there now, in all those tents. Actually, there's one just walking by there. So they got their fill. They ate, they ate our leftover hot dogs or. Hamburgers and they ate two packs of hot links on Monica. <laughs> two packs of hot links. Uh, three, three packs of hot links. They ate chips and salsa mm -hmm. and some Coke, some Inca Cola. They're happy. Oh, and, and a marshmallow. They're taking fistfuls of lettuce and tomatoes and just <laughs> yeah. wrapping it in their mouth like they're llamas. <laughs> like they're llamas? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They don't get no fresh vegetables on the trail. So wait a minute. Say that again. <laughs> they're grabbing fistfuls of lettuce and tomato and just ramming it in their mouth like llamas. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you got any salt? He, he said, you got any salt? And I, said, he's, I said, no. He goes, okay. <laughs> and then he started putting mustard on it and all kinds of stuff. Like llamas. Yeah. Look, there's and, a then, and then Monica handed him a bowl with with, uh, with a fork, and he was elated. He, he filled it up. Salad. He got a fresh salad. Probably hasn't had a fresh salad. He didn't want scurvy. Yeah, it's like a pirate. Arr. He was on the boat. It was eat like a pirate day. A small world, though. I got a friend on the East Coast over there, Scott Hayden. And he goes, Hey, you're Pharaoh, right? I'm. You're, you, no, there was the one burly guy. He you said, uh, communicate on YouTube with a friend of mine, Scott Hayden. He walked a piece. Hey, Scott, times. saw your buddy. Through hiked it. You'll probably see this before you see him or hear from him. And he said By the way, my here, ULA circuit still holding up. The pockets are blown out from rock climbing, oh, That's what I'm saying. but the pack's still holding up. Oh, <laughs> Good lord, you violated that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm that violated! I was in a or something. Oh my god. Darn, man. Man down. Man down. Man down. Okay. Clear down. It's, it's get it, man down. You can get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be. <laughs> oh and he puts it in his mouth. <laughs> I saw fire go in your mouth. <laughs> it was good, though. I've shown you this many times. Candle lantern made by the Candle Lantern Company. It's got a beeswax candle. Burns longer, burns cleaner. It helps take impurities out of the air. Pollen and such, it sucks it in there and burns it. Uh, this thing, I just bent it around the pole, up and around. The weight is what holds it. The dip here has got a pin from a ballpoint pin, a spring, so it doesn't <coughs> slip off. And then you can spin this. You can raise it. See, it comes around this way. Just goes and it comes up, puts the weight, it puts the weight against it. So the more weight you push on it, the tighter it holds. Raise it, lower it, move it. These are the things I think about. Uh, SL3. Marmot plasma, it's filthy. Dirt, fell in the dirt. Uh, slumberjack pillow, my boots, more knife, with the light, my fire striker, my tripod, tie back, 
Ridge Lake, Wagon Pool, Bake Set, MSR, BatchDubs.com, Fuel, a beer, uh, Trangia full set, Light Bag, Hammock, Hammock Straps, uh, Gloves, Clothes, Odds and Ends, My Hat, Charlie's Chair, he's right outside, his tent's right over there, but I'm just using this to keep my off the ground for mice and I'm on the ground anyway the usual can't end of a great weekend if you didn't hear earlier in this video we pulled out about a hundred and seventy five pounds of trash and we cleared four and a half miles of trail it was awesome these guys did some great work um, I asked for volunteers expecting to get eight to ten maybe I thought I'd get lucky if I got ten I got 19. It was great. So thanks for watching and thanks to everybody who took part in this. If you took part, leave your comment. Something that I would know you by. Something you said, something you did in the details. And if you want me to, I'll put a link to your channel down below. Some people don't like that. Some people like that. Just let me know. I'll put a link to your detail. A link to your channel the details send some views your way <sighs> morning guys he's got soy hey, chorizo oh, well, and eggs is this a, that, uh, angle? Some right. blueberry pancakes it's cotton and some bacon Good room fun. right here. Perfect. What's that, Paul? Chorizo and egg. That's that special, different uh, kind of to freeze. Remember where the guys from? And hash browns. Hash browns. Cheesy. And that stove. That's that mini bowl. An older. No, no, bowl. no, no. This is a Dutch, Dutch pot for a mini bowl, and then that's just a firebox stove and with a edge. Blueberry pancakes. Breakfast skillet. What are you gonna be making? Coffee. What are you gonna make it? Do so. When I woke up this morning, this is my view. Look at that. I'll see if any of the, anybody in here knows what those are. Paul might know what those are. He lives out this way. It is that cold. What are you cooking there? Just boiling some water? Oh, just boiling water, yeah. yeah. Deep power stove. Deep power stove. That's that Coleman cooks that on. Got one of those in the house, they're cool. Yeah. Everything fit inside here. Yep. Stove. I like them because those handles lock out. Yeah. What are you, Robert? What are you making? Oh, yeah, I'm making some coffee. Yeah. Mm. What, do you, what do you have under that? Oh, that's an uh, old grouch uh, cutting cup. Yeah. And that's my stove. That's from oldgrouch.com. I use solid fuel. The SB solid fuel. That's a small, small box. Yeah, small pieces. Oh, wow, I've never, I've never seen these. How big are they when you open them? Um, it's like a... Oh wow, I've not seen those. Yeah, this goes with the uh, old grouch uh, cutting cup. There you go. They're like half cubes. Yeah, they're like half of what you... How long will one of those burn? Uh, this is my first time going to use it, trying it. So I put uh, four already. Now I can finish it. 
me some eggs. Okay. This one's as good. This is right off the fire, off the coals. You got that propane turned up too high. You're gonna burn so your you burn pancakes. Like a, it's burning already. You gotta flip them. You got your propane turned up way too high. Way too high. Your propane, your propane accessories. One time, some boys were in the, my woodshed. They're out there whacking in the woodshed, and then they left my propane on. Hey Jonathan, you got another one like you. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> propane and propane accessories. Propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Pack up to go. Charlie's Jam 50. Uh, I, got, I got an extra bag, another bag to carry out, but a lot lighter than I was. Ridge rest. Uh, what are those things called? Tripod. <laughs> One of those high tech things. And then over here, REI, what, what pack is this? Stoke 29. Stoke 29, what do you have in there? Uh, all I have is my sleeping bag, my hammock, and my underquilt, and that's it. You cooked yet? You have a cookie or anything? No. Oh. Oh, they just just sleep system. Tarp. One is tart. <laughs> your chin, I've cooked everything in here. Food. And then this one here, who belongs to this one? They're about the same. Then this one, you got these. Right. Shelter's only 24 ounces. Old school, odd frame pack. Yeah, my, my bag's three and a half pounds. They got to take seven, six inches wide. This is Little Jimmy Campground. Over that ridge, I'll show you in a minute. We're going to walk over there before we leave. Over that ridge, you can get to Crystal Lake. So you can come up that way. The Windy Gap. That's Little G Jimmy's. Go, come over when we get Windy Gap. You'll catch the PCT. From, the come, the comes from Baden Powell. Catch the PCT, fall it past Little Jimmy Springs, there's a water source. You come about six, seven minutes around the corner and you're you're here. Free campgrounds. Just pack out what you pack in and a little more. Camp seven. And this is your view. And the PCT continues. Goes down. This is not not it. This is not the road. This is the service road. But uh continues down here and we'll be on that on the way back go back to Islip Saddle but we are gonna go down the PCT toward Tees and catch the service road we parked down by the service road the service road will hold about eight cars maybe nine there's a PCT right there we fed all those guys last night hamburgers hot dogs hot links one guy grabbed a handful of lettuce, tomato, put a little ketchup on it, he said, salad, like a llama. We got Alan packed out, and we got the rocket pack with the two two liters in the back. That thing just looks heavy, I'm tired looking at it. I think that's only good for a mile though. Yeah, so we just shake up those uh, two liters and then knock the, the bottoms off and he'll go flying out. Plus he's got a little we handbag. Got a lot, we got a lot of trash bottles and stuff in there. Yep, all our other stuff's over here. Put the fire out already. Right, Let's rest the group. Again. Have a safe ride home. Giant backpack over here. Well, thanks again for the use of the packs. Showing up. He's got his batchstoves.com uh, buff on. Matter of fact, so do I. Yeah, thank you very much for taking part in showing up. Thank you. Oh, and for contribution of the $50 REI. Yeah. Who won the REI? You did? Uh, no, it was that one lady. Uh, oh, yeah, that woman. Uh, he donated it from your store again? Tropical Reef Fish Store in Rancho. One block from REI. <laughs> on Foothill Boulevard. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for helping take all that oh, stuff out. It's you. amazing we got that much out. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Charlie. Alan, thanks a lot for the invite. Always good to see you. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, Thank you Robert. Lewis and Chris are up there. Lewis and Clark. Then <laughs> uh, this guy, these guys, this guy. Oh, these going with me. These three, these two. No, these three. This one. They're all going down. We're gonna go over to Little Jimmy. Uh, when he get? Up. I'm not sure about these guys. Look at that moss right there. It's actually on the northeast side of the tree up here 
I lifted. And the camp goes quiet. There's only, it was full. Now there's only one guy left after we're gone. I think we're the noisiest bunch, unfortunately. The wine was flowing, the beers were tipping. And then there were six. Guys, we've gone, hey guys, we've gone from a group of 22 to a group of six. <laughs> these are the campsites we were shooting for, but they're taken. It's camp four. See, look, they got these little things. You open that up. You open that up. Put your wood in there. Then you can cook right on the top. Put some foil down. You can cook your steaks right on the top. Look, he's boiling. Water comes out there. Got your tables yeah. with seats, tables for standing. And uh, the spring's down right around this corner here. Up there, there's, there's somebody up, up, up there too. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> okay. Look at the little broom they made. <laughs> a little broom. <laughs> so you're doing the Israel... Israel National Trail. Shvil Israel. Made in the National Geographic's list of coolest trails on the planet in the number two slot. And our beloved PCT didn't, which is, of course, because the Appalachian had to make it. It's the grandfather of all the long trails. So, how long is that Israel Trail? The Israel Trail is 600 miles long in a country that's 350 miles long, but uh, it winds back and forth 250 miles in the Negev Desert. Absolutely beautiful. One of the things the Israelis do, instead of cutting the trail out of cliffs, they'll put a ladder up. And they say, hey, life is tough, get over it. And so it's just absolutely spectacular. It's on the Mediterranean for 30 miles. It hits all the high points. Nazareth, Mount Tabor, the, the Jordan River, the Sea of Galilee, the Canaret, um, and then Mount uh, Arabelle and Mount Maron up north. And we finish it up on top of Mount Hermon, which is 6,000 feet of ski area on it in Israel. Just a ton of fun. Interesting. Uh, but you, it's a little dangerous back there? Uh, Jerusalem right now, even with all the attacks they have, is still safer than any major American city. There are times on the trail where you have to keep your, your head about you. It's, uh, it's like anything. If you respond in fear, people are going to take advantage of that. But if you understand that there's nothing to be afraid of over there, people are absolutely welcoming. They, they welcome you as a hiker. They really move beyond the stereotypes. And I've experienced that from Secular Jews, ultra-Orthodox Jews, they all meet you where your needs are. It's one of the great blessings of, of hiking, so, yeah, it's... Uh, Sounds great. Have, have a great time, man. Thank you. Appreciate your that. Your name again was... Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. He Thomas was one of, He was one of the guys that came over and took part of the feast we had up there. Yeah, it was, and what a blessing that was. The through hikers, they, they'll come into town stops and they get blessed there. But for somebody to do that on trail is such an encouragement to them. Because you learn soon that you don't make it to Canada on food alone, on new shoes alone. It's the encouragement that the people along the way give you. And last night was just absolutely fabulous. And the fact that they recognized you. Yeah, that's they funny. They knew that you were part of this trail. <laughs> that meant even more to them. So Yeah, and uh, two guys from Germany. That was pretty cool. That was fun. That was fun. So hey, well, thank you. And you have a good trail. Great, great work to you. Thanks a lot. Good luck. I even have people ask. Look at that branch sticking out there. Like a jellyfish. This camp used to go by a different name way back early 1900s. Uh, but a famous cartoonist used to come up here and hang out. It was a big time hangout up here for all kinds of people from all times, different walks of life. Actors, artists, hikers, boy scouts, you name it. Anyway, there was a famous uh, hiker, a uh, famous cartoonist used to come up here that used to draw this cartoon similar to Archie's, but it was called Little Jimmy. And so. Everybody used to come up here and they'd see him, hey, 
people want him to draw something, get his autograph picture, whatever. It took on the name, Little Jimmy. It's been that way ever since. Little Jimmy Campground. You can access it three ways. Up and over Crystal Lake, out of Azusa. San Gabriel Mountains. Up and over Azusa, through the Gap, Windy Gap, on the PCT, either from north or south. It's uh, north of Baden Powell. Um, by the Isla of Saddle, or you can come up from the fire road, um, which is three quarters of a mile, roughly, east of Isla of Saddle parking lot. You save about a quarter mile walking that way. Pretty steep. Little Jimmy Springs. This will continue around to uh, Windy Gap. We'll check them both out. It's a beautiful place. Look at that, the green against the blue. All right, they're coming. There's a little Jimmy Spring. You can drink right from it without filtering. Yeah, look at that. Here we got a couch. That's a love seat, we don't get no idea. Windy Gap, mountain is slip. Eight tenths of a mile. Up there you can grab that peak, then you come down the other side into Little Jimmy. Or you can come back, come down here to Little Jimmy. But over this over this top here, Pacific Crest Trail beating Powell that way. Over this trail here, you got the Area of Azusa, Crystal Lake. Okay, that patch right there, that patch of green. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I know. I can see a lot from here. Let's see. Where's that patch of green? Patch of green, the center screen. That's when you're coming down past Colebrook. Okay, and back off. That's where you're coming down past Colebrook. You go over that little bridge, and you wrap around, and you come around right here in this area where this branch comes down. Watch. Let's see. I'll show it. Focus in on this. Okay. There's a road there going up. See that road in the center of the screen? That Pigeon Ridge Road. That's the one that goes around to that water tower. If you go back there about two miles, you can really back off. You go around there two miles, mile and a half, two miles, mile and a half. It'll dip around back into this little bay. There is a water source back there before it comes back out and goes around again to the water tower. But from right there, there's a little trail from that, where that right before you get that river, there's a trail to get down to Bachota Canyon, way back there. There had always been rumor of a cabin being back there, but I believe that myth's been busted because uh, you get up there now and you look down with binoculars, you can see nothing. Matter of fact, from Bachota Canyon, you walk in, and you can't see anything. So unless it burned down and the it didn't have a foundation, that could be the case. But it's no longer there. It's a nice tree. This dead tree. There's a little dead tree forest there. Um, get around this side. This trail here will come down right here. We'll come down, wrap around drop right into that. You go through that, you come out in that little forest down there where my finger is. You come out in that forest, you walk around and you'll break through to the road. You walk across the road, there's a parking lot. Get in that parking lot, get your car if you have a car. That's a good place to park though if you want to do a through hike. You can park there and you can leave another one in Baden-Powell. A buddy's car in Baden-Powell or be dropped off. You can come up this, go over to Baden-Powell, spend the night on top of Baden-Powell, Get some water here, spend some night in Baden Pal, go down, have your second car, or you can do like Martin and I did, have one car down here, one car way over at Heaton Flats. Uh, let's see. We took off here five, six in the morning, 
maybe seven, five, six in the morning, I think. I came up here, we got up here. These trees had ice hanging out eight, 10 inches from this way, because this is Windy Gap where the wind comes this way off the desert. Had icicles off. We didn't have crampons either. We made our way over to Baden Powell, saw Baden Powell, went down Baden Powell, down Vincent Gap, down to Tom Vincent's cabin. We slept there. That was day one. Day two, we took off from the cabin. We did a through hike out East Fork. We got about seven or eight the next night. And then we drove back around to his car and his car had total snow on it. It was a good trip, it's hard. But that, uh, the gray piece of road you see in the center screen area, right there at the, where that, right where that mountain, right here, the close one comes down, you see that gray? That's the area just past Colebrook Campground, I believe, um, where there's a little pullout. Where everybody does donuts with their motorcycles and their little uh, race cars, their Fast and the Furious wannabe race cars. They do those little Fast and the Ferocious, I mean, they do donuts right across where you can get over that, over Smith Peak and come down into Blair Witch uh, Canyon. And then you wrap around and go to Pigeon Ridge Road. Over there, that uh, almost empty basin now. It's uh, the former cr uh, Crystal Lake. Now it's the Crystal Mud Hole, unfortunately, with this drought. Let's see, what else do you have here? Um, uh, this fire trail here. This fire trail that winds the road here, I mean the ridge, drops down. Where it drops down before it comes back up, that's where you drop over. Um, to um, I think it was one time there might be a, a yearly fee. Bear Creek <laughs> So there's a lot to do and a lot to see out here if you're new to the area if you're new to backpacking There is a lot to do if you live in Orange County. There's a lot to do right in your backyard Incredible amount of incredible amount of stuff to do and actually you can you can actually walk that fire road along the ridge all the way down It'll go down, 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 all the way down to West Fork. At West Fork, there's a way you can make your way down, around, and into the actual parking lot. It's a pretty neat trail. Oh yeah, and on that ridge road, that ridge trail, when you get down to within a mile or two of West Fork, if you look close, there's a, a gulch that drops off. A gulch like something like, say you're walking this peak, a gulch like this that'll drop down. If you go down that gulch, you go down, it'll level off, you go down again. There's an old ancient waterfall, no longer flows. But you can see where it would, it would have just been incredible. It drops down into a big bowl. And then where it drops down again, it drops down right about, I would say, about 500 feet north of the third campground. There's a big berry patch there too, if you're in that area. Berries will be ripening up pretty soon, I believe. Blackberries. Okay, we're walking down. I always got my eye on the ground because my daughter's cousin collects rocks and because I find hidden things. And uh, I just saw fire in the sky, but only from this angle. Look at right here. Let's see. With this glare, it's hard to see the view screen. Okay, you got the, you got the neck, the head, the eye, no mouth, fire in the sky, one of the grays, fire in the sky. Which, by the way, are not an alien race, but a man-made, genetically engineered creature designed to gather information and put implants in you. Watch out for those guys. They're no good. <laughs> right? That's right. Roger that. Can't trust them. Charlie. Don't trust the grays. Just, uh, but they left this here he's for got me your to eye see. On you. The white cannon. The all-seeing eye. 
Let's see. There he is, right there. Now tell me, tell me, that is not a gray. Fire in the sky, right there. I'll leave that here for future people to see. The whereabouts? There's on the fire road to little Jimmy. There's Just watch for it. You'll see it. You. Yeah, there's another there's arrow there. And look, me. we're gonna place we're gonna place a black and white rock. Two degrees. Let's see. Two degrees northeast. The two highway on a Sunday afternoon. We're back to our cars. After the cleanup, we parked here rather than go down to little Jimmy. Uh, I mean Islip, we parked here because we could take this fire road. This fire road is about three quarters of a mile shorter. And it's about three quarters of a mile east of little of uh, Islip. Just walk straight up there. That way is back to Baden Powell. This way is to Red Box. We're all parked here except Lewis and Clark, which is actually Lewis and Chris. And I'm gonna give them a ride back to their car. Then we're all out of here. So it's a great weekend, very productive weekend. 20 great people, 20 plus. I met those PC tiers. We just all had a blast. Monica, you didn't win anything um, in the drawing, but for all your help, for the help and the cleanup you did for me for two trips, and for all the cooking you did this time, that eight by five tarp that he won, well, I'm gonna double that, and I'm gonna give you an eight by 10 integral design, fully seam sealed. It's yours next time we get together. The perfect end to a video. Have a good time on the trail, guys. Peace. On the way out of the parking lot, I caught one more Pacific Crest trailer. Stopped and gave him a bottle of ice water and a cookie. <laughs> you wouldn't think somebody would be so thankful for it, but they are. Everybody else is gone. And then there was one. Uh, after work, if this post within the next day or so, it, it may have already happened, but after work, two days from now, I'm going to drive up to Crystal Lake and I'm going to walk this road to its end and skateboard back. Should be fun. Never know what I'll see. Maybe some bighorn sheep, some deer. But that's another video. Another time, McLeod.